And then I was told, oh, you've been offered that? That's really the cover for this uh, by a high-level person in Hollywood. And then sure enough, it did happen. I um, mean, I've been invited to basically go over and uh, be, a, I mean, eyes wide shut type stuff with real elites, you know. And, and, and the listeners are hearing this and they're going, oh, yeah, really? No, folks, this is real. And, and I can't even get into it all. I just well, I, I just well, wish Al the public Alex, knew what was really going on. Alex, Alex, I want to tell you something. Eyes Wide Shut, brother. That movie reveals a lot. Eyes Wide Shut by Kubrick. It's an awful movie. But these parties do happen. Prince talked about these parties, not just with me, but elsewhere. And are you willing? And, and you know, look, there's a great drug that my listeners have and your listeners have. And, Alex, hell, you had it and I had it. And that drug is if we only had fame or we only had money or we only had this or that, we'd be happy. And I know, Alex, I know the battles that you've had in your life. And, and, but this, this, this drug, we have sold people this, this idea that, that fame will cure them. And so I understand, and people are literally willing to sell their soul for it. You and I haven't, and I want to tell you that Billy hasn't. Uh, there's a reason. How, how about this guy that fills stadiums and, and sells millions and millions of uh, recordings, and yet they, they press uh, uh, lesser stars than Billy? Why does he promote it? Because he wouldn't sell out. Why did Prince disappear? Because he wouldn't sell. He wouldn't. He wouldn't give them his master tapes. Because it's all part of the facade. To, but but I mean, getting back to that, we're not willing to sell out to the agenda. And if you don't do the agenda, you don't get promoted. If you don't have, if you don't, yeah. I'm sorry. Go ahead, sir. I was talking to just even Mark Geis when they were getting ready to give him a national TV show. Oh, he's uh, with, awesome. With uh, you know some of the folks from Montley Crew. He's in the meeting, and the head producer, not with Montley Crew, but with his big TV network, goes, "Listen, Mark, what's wrong with the devil?" What's wrong with Satan? And starts praising Lucifer and, and asking him to join with Lucifer. And the guy yep. was in a religious experience trying to sell him on it. And people just don't understand. They don't know what happens next level. And you've got all these shows where Lucifer's this sweet guy out in L.A., you know, on TV now, and he loves everybody. I mean, these people are really trying to bring in this satanic takeover. And, and you look at... Uh, Lady Gaga has to have bodyguards around her at night because she's to terrorized by demons and ghosts and screaming and yelling and flopping around. Kesha, all these people have become just conduits of interdimensional evil, whatever you want to call it. It is insane. And every Super Bowl and every big award show is turned into some type of huge Babylonian witchcraft yes. event. What yes. do you think this is all about, man, Cal? Alex, I know exactly what it's about. And I want to tell you something, brother. You say interdimensional. You, you can go the, the science route. You can go the, the uh, biblical route. Why do all these artists go broke, the entourage? Why are they up all the time? Why do, they, why do they not have mirrors? If you talk to anyone who does this interdimensional demonic stuff, uh, they, they conjure faces and they are given their marching orders and speak to people uh, or creatures, whatever it is, goat-headed figures, and I've heard all kinds oh, of things. Oh, that's what it stuff. is. Skip the And, and they, they, they don't have mirrors. They can't sleep. They're terrified. And uh, he, he did talk about some parties that he had been to that were, you know, um, like you said, you can say satanic, you can say Babylonian, however, however you want to label it. And I've been to these parties. We've talked about on this show before. Um, full on satanic stuff, man. And, uh, you know, it's uncloaking. It's not it's not even I, I mean, I'm acting like this is some big story. Does anybody doubt it? Evil is uncloaking. Devil's advocate. We need a good, you know, that used to be something. Devil's advocate. Evil doesn't need an advocate. Everybody's the devil's advocate now. Somebody needs to be an advocate for good. Prince is gone, but there is a global awakening taking place.